Casa de Salud is a place both because of the way it looks, because of the way we outreach, because of the people who are here, everyone bilingual, everyone culturally competent, uh, that is naturally attractive to the Hispanic community. We are serving those who largely have no place else to turn. They have tremendous barriers, uh, whether it be language or insurance or what have you, to have access to typical sources of care, be like, for example, a primary physician. Part of the way we make this a welcoming place is by having a play area for children because often as people get time from work to come and attend to their health care needs, uh, they need to bring their families with them. It only cost us about $100 to serve a patient. At an emergency room it costs about $1,300 on average. If we see 5,000 patients a year, that saves the system five to seven million dollars. I think one of the most remarkable cases was a young man who came in um, with active tuberculosis. It's not something we think of as being a current health problem and yet people are coming from a part of the world where tuberculosis is still fairly common. This was someone we were able to get into care and get him the treatment he needed uh, which has been very important for him but also very important for making sure that uh, this isn't something that spreads needlessly to other people. I was badly burned in a kitchen accident. I first went to an ER where they turned me away. I came here and was treated very well. Nurse Deanne even came in on weekends to change my bandages. I will tell all of my friends to go here. I was relieved that he didn't have to go through a surgery. I like to fight for my patients too at the same time and be that patient advocate for them. We have over 25 physicians who volunteer at different times of the week or month. We have some retired physicians who are using this as a time to give back uh, after a fulfilling career to use their time to actually serve our patients here. We have some faculty from SLU and WashU who volunteer here. We have some physicians who, for whatever set of experiences, love to speak Spanish. Some patients that sometimes they say, oh, I went to another clinic, and then obviously came as you were saying the language. They say, oh, you speak Spanish, this is what, what good it is. That's the, probably the main advantage that I have seen. Not that in some other places that also they have given care has not been good. It's just the, the, the connection. In addition to physicians, we also have a psychologist who's worked with us from the beginning. We have uh, two nutritionists working with us now, a physical therapist. They take good care of me here at CASA. I go to Grace Hill for major problems, but whenever I have minor problems, I come back to CASA. We can take people and treat them, then they can work, then they can provide for themselves, then they can provide for their family, for the general productivity of the entire region.